All right, so this is a little bit of an update. I've got some uh, video clips I'm gonna put in of some of the things that I've been making. Again, this is just for um, folks that are just starting off in the ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting. I'm hoping that uh, by showing you what I'm eating and uh, the fact that I'm making it on a regular basis, that it gives you inspiration to try the keto diet. And if you're just starting or, if you, or you're thinking about starting, uh, the ketogenic diet is, it's, it's changed me beyond measures. <laughs> Honestly, I have lost 31 pounds. I feel incredibly healthy. I feel very uh, alert and oriented. Um, I'm getting better sleep. And I, it's just a feeling of, of uh, like I'm a well-oiled, uh, lean fighting machine. Even though I'm not really fighting, but <laughs> anyway, enjoy the video. All right, so he, right here I have the macadamia nut maple syrup cookies. And I'm really bummed from K Keto Connect. They looked crispy. And I don't know if I did something wrong, but I mean, they look great. Look at them. But I don't know if you can get this, uh, no crunch to it, and it just kind of, it's soft. <laughs> it's kind of like anything that's like keto. There's a giant nut. I mean, it smells okay. They taste okay. But anyway, that's the uh, macadamia nut, and I ended up making uh, eight big cookies. The thing, I think you're supposed to end up only making 20, but I don't know if I did something wrong. Don't know. <sighs> And right there is that nut and um, coconut um, and uh, flaxseed cereal. And I gotta tell you, I keep making this. It is absolutely delicious with almond milk. I know it's not cereal, but it's the closest thing to cereal. And when you're um, hungry and uh, you, have a, you only have a short period of time to eat, then bam, there it is right there. Now, uh, a few times I have now made, that actually looks smaller on the screen. <laughs> oh, I think my hand just looks extra big, I don't know. But anyway, so look, these are those Keto um, Connect bars that uh, were a copy of the Keto bar, I guess. I think, I've never had them, I haven't found them, but I thought it, it was a pretty um, interesting recipe and it's like a bar to, um, you can take and uh, like dessert, you can, it can be a dessert or a bar that you can take on the go with you. Um, and I have some friends who are not keto that actually like these. This recipe I, I kind of screwed up. I, I put too much heavy cream in it, then I had to take out some of it, and then I had to add. So my measurements were way, way off. But you know what I discovered though, is that with the extra cream, I think there's maybe a little extra cream in here and it makes them a little, little softer and what I one of the, the learning lessons from this is make sure that you blend the non-sweet chocolate bars in the, your food processor before and really blend them up and then the chunks aren't so big because really when you eat in, in into one of these and you get a big chunk of bittersweet chocolate chocolate it is bittersweet so so th this and that cereal have been some of the major things that I've been making from uh, Keto Connect. Thank you again, Keto Connect. All right, so here is uh, last night's dinner. Um, it's chicken, if you can't tell, um, and it's breaded with um, coconut flour, and it was cooked in coconut oil. Now, what's interesting about coconut flour, it is a sponge. Oh my gosh, it just sucks all the moisture out of everything. So if you're baking with it or cooking with it, just know that. I had to, well, I kept on adding uh, coconut oil to this recipe. Now this was the Keto Connect lemon um, chicken and I may have made the sauce a little out of order. Um, I combined everything together and um, it, was a, it was good. It wasn't, I think it would have been better if it was an orange chicken. So maybe I'll, I'll convert the lemon chicken to orange chicken. And if also, if I didn't mention before, um, oh, and this, these are chicken thighs, they were, they were on sale. A lot of the Keto Connect recipes have chicken thighs. You could use chicken breast, and I, I have been using chicken breast, but I wanted to use chicken thighs because 
it, it's um, maybe a more fatty meat, probably a little bit more m moist meat. So I, I did go with that. Now something I don't know if I mentioned before, I actually had made um, pad thai a couple of days ago and from Keto Connects recipes again. And that pad thai was phenomenal. And this is what I used. I didn't use the um, fettuccine noodles. So now imagine this bag, right? All right, you got fettuccine noodles. It looked like a bag of tapeworms. Not to put anybody off of this, this particular <laughs> pasta. Anyway, um, it's shiitake spaghetti. And um, I've, I used it for the uh, pad thai and then also for um, uh, spaghetti. Uh, you... They do have a couple of versions out there that have, uh, what is it, um, tofu in it, and I, I'm staying away from tofu, tofu and or soy products. This one is, is it's an interesting product. Um, when you open it up, it smells earthy. I know there's a couple of videos out there saying that it stinks. If you put it in a colander, rinse it cold water, don't do hot water, because you'll um, enhance that smell. Cold water, then you throw it into a frying pan, and then you, um, heat it and you heat it for a couple of minutes and then you put it with whatever you're cooking and like I said pad thai phenomenal I, I'm gonna make that again and actually right now I'm, I'm actually gonna make their uh, the Keto Connects um, spring roll without the spring roll part of it and I've made it in the past and it's pretty good but if you put it with cauliflower rice it's actually very good all right so I've got some cauliflower here I ha had to dub over because these bags when I was touching them were really crinkly and it was deafening. Anyway, so here, these two bags, I got Green Giant, I've got the uh, uh, Bird's Eye, and they're both very good. Uh, the Green Giant has this one with the peas and carrots in it, but there's really not a lot of peas and carrot in it. Um, what's interesting is that I thought that there was added sugar in the Bird's Eye. The cauliflower one here, the Green Giant, has about two grams per serving, which is a cup. Um, and then the bird's eye has three grams of sugar, um, which is for a cup. It does have like sunflower oil in it, which I really I try not to have. It's one of those oils that, what do they say? It's like industrial oil or something like that. But anyway, one cup of that has, um, I think it's three grams of sugar. And I, I don't know if that's just natural sugar because of it, it, it being a, a vegetable. Also, they have the mashed potato, and I've made my own mashed potato cauliflower. I think that there are two on the market. One of the things that they like to blend is mashed potatoes and um, sweet potato, which obviously is not very keto. Um, I've used these uh, bags for, um, for quickness. Uh, you can cook them for about four to five minutes and then poof you've got rice so if you're in a you come home from work and you're trying to make a meal quickly you just throw these in it's better than grinding up a cauliflower and then cooking it this is an easy way to do it. it's lazy I know it's probably more expensive but if you want to maintain the keto diet you've got to try to make things a little easier for you when I come home what I want to do is is start on my uh, meal prep and I need to keep it within a certain period because if I, it takes too long to make, then I may push my um, feasting window into my uh, intermittent fasting window, which I don't want to do that. But anyway, yes, I recommend these. Here's something else that I've been doing uh, as far as like a drink goes. In your, if you're doing intermittent fasting and you are um, doing 16, 18, 20 hours. Sometimes you get a little craving, I guess, and you get, get pretty thirsty. Trick is, are you doing clean intermittent fasting or are you doing dirty intermittent fasting? I try to do clean, but every so often I'll have a drink in the evening when I come home after I've eaten. And what it consists of, and only a little bit of this, because if you look on the back here, um, I think, uh, where many calories is it? Uh, 10 calories per, um, I think it's one fluid ounce. So I, I literally drop a couple of drops of this volcanic Italian lemon juice 
in uh, a glass, and then I use sparkling mineral water. Now, there's a lot of people that are talking about how when you're on the keto diet that you may be a little deficient in minerals, and so you can substitute that with, I think, uh, uh, Diane Parson, I think it is, uh, YouTube channel, and you can utilize the uh, sparkling water here. And I like it because it's kind of like drinking a 7-Up. If you have this, and uh, I literally a couple of drops of this, maybe, you know, Dribbles, three or four dribbles. And then I put in a little bit a little bit of trivia with ice, and it's great. But I thought I'd just share that with you guys. And as you can see, that's the consistency. That's kind of like the color. It almost looks like <laughs> dirty water. I'm drinking dirty water. No, actually, it, it, uh, it's, it's kind of refreshing. Um, one of the things about this uh, Pellegrino water <laughs> is that you gotta kind of drink it quickly. Um, the car natural, well, I won't say natural carbonation because I think they probably put carbonated carbonation in it. Um, the carbonation escapes pretty quickly, so you have to kind of drink it pretty quickly. All right, so this is my dinner for work. It is that cauliflower rice and that um, spring roll uh, mix from Keto Connect. Well, actually, it's all it is is. Um, uh, coleslaw bag, uh, you know, the one that if you want to make your own coleslaw, ready coleslaw bag of cabbage, and, and I think it has a little bit of um, carrots in there, and um, and then pork, and then their uh, sauce that, that you make with some sesames. But um, so it's like almost like an inside of a spring roll. And I actually, this is what I'm taking to work. Actually, probably this scoop has a little bit more meat in it, but pretty good, right? Close, it's not a spring roll, but it's close. All right, so this is the beef stew, and the beef stew is pretty good from Keto Connect. Looks like there's potatoes in there, doesn't it? But it's not, it's actually radishes.